Hi guys, it's Music Loose here, and welcome to another Afiba's Tavern. Sorry guys, I don't have Laurel with me today. She had to go register for classes, so it's just me today. Uh, but, uh, this one seems to be a very interesting update. Update, because it's talking about something from Dark Relics. Um, as you can read down below here, it says, Take new Take time out from Black Relics to take in news of the Black Market coming to see Thieves in next month's update and what it will mean for Duke, the Blooms, and Letters, uh, letters of Recommendations. Find out about the Black Market. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's read on. I mean, watch on. Hello everyone, Joe Neat here, executive producer on Sea of Thieves with another weekly dev update. So first of all, great to see Dark Relics launching and seeing all the cool player stories again from the things that we've introduced. So the Reaper's Chest seems to have gone down super well uh, as well, like really loving to see kind of how that's just reinvigorated the seas uh, in adventure, like really cool kind of stories that we're seeing around that. Yeah, alongside the Reaper's Chest then obviously the Harpoon Rowboat has gone in and that's again seen so many cool videos and stuff and um, the thing that obviously people wanted to try first was can you harpoon a megalodon and you know thankfully the answer was yes and but really funny to just see the videos of that and to see especially just someone you know sitting in first person in the rowboat just being dragged around the seas by the megalodon like really really funny just like the, the best theme park ride that you could possibly imagine. Yeah, what I loved about Dark Relics is that you know, it was our second monthly update. It really doesn't feel that long ago that we launched Black Powder Stashes. And so it really feels that getting into this rhythm on, on a monthly basis with new things to do, uh, kind of new rewards, just new ways to play is, is definitely the right stuff. And, and, you know, alongside just the core voyages and the rewards that came in, it's cool to see you know, the features that are just generally being worked on flowing into the build, like the Harpoon rowboat um, and other stuff. I can't remember. Uh... <laughs> So in the September update, we're introducing Duke's Black Market, uh, which is where we're going to be bringing in both new cosmetic, uh, but also uh, introducing variants on kind of uh, time-limited cosmetics from the past. So this is where cosmetics that were available for a limited time that you, um, some people managed to earn, but a lot of people kind of didn't. We're going to be bringing in some variants of these occasionally as part of the Black Market, so that you know if you didn't manage to get your hands on a certain really cool set of cosmetics, there's going to be a variant of that coming in. So for those people that managed to earn it originally, they've still got the original, it's still unique to them, um, but there will be kind of twists on these coming back because there's some really cool stuff out there that a lot of people have been clamoring for the opportunity to earn again, but we want to make sure that people who earned it originally still have their unique sets, you know, that's still unique, um, that's still kind of indicative of the time and the effort and that they put in and that, that they were present at that time, but also that we, you know, we get the opportunity for other players to earn something kind of similar that's, that's still really cool. Um, while still maintaining that kind of um, exclusivity for the uh, original players that own them. For, um, for Duke's Black Market itself, that it'll be a mixture of kind of doubloons and gold that can be spent on, on these cosmetics that are coming back. So for the variants of previously time-limited or kind of exclusive sets, uh, those will be with doubloons. Uh, the same with any brand new items that are coming in, they'll be purchasable, purchasable with doubloons. But variants of kind of outpost shop items, so shops, stuff that's already out there in the shops, but we Okay, so let's talk about the black market for a second. It sounds like sounds like we'll be able to get access to time limited cosmetics that were previously available. So for those who don't know, before the anniversary update, Annalena, uh, there were time limited cosmetics that were made available elsewhere, where outside I see thieves, thieves in Mixer and other places. So. Uh, it sounds like we'll get through the black market. We'll be able to see those again. And, but um, I got stuck there for a second, so I didn't hear hear much of it. Much of how we'll be able to do it. So give me a second to go back. But also that we, you know, we get the opportunity for other players to earn something kind of similar that's that's still really cool, um, while still maintaining that kind of um, exclusivity for the uh, original players that earn them. For um, for Duke's Black Market itself, that it'll be a mixture of kind of give the time and the effort and that they put in, and that they've still got the original. It's still unique to them, um, but there will be kind of twists on these coming back because there's some really cool stuff out there. A lot of people kind of didn't. We're going to be bringing in some variants of these occasionally as part of the Black Market, so that you know if you didn't manage to get your hands on. 
um, a certain really cool set of cosmetics, there's going to be a variant of that coming in. So for those people that managed to earn it originally, they've still got the original, it's still unique to them, um, but there will be kind of twists on these coming back because there's some really cool stuff out there that a lot of people have been clamoring for the opportunity to earn again. But we want to make sure that people who earned it originally still have their unique sets, you know, that's still unique. Um, that's still kind of indicative of the time and the effort and that they put in and that, that, that they were present at that time, but also that we you know we get the opportunity for other players to earn something kind of similar that's, that's still really cool um, while still maintaining that kind of um, exclusivity for the uh, original players that earned them. Four, um, okay, okay, okay. So it sounds like what Ray is trying to tell me in the specifics uh, it is that uh, there will be variants of these special limited edition items. Makes a lot of sense to me, 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 because that way, for those who are in the original sets, man, I wish Laura was here. She would definitely be able to talk about it. Uh, we will be able to, to, you know, no, uh, you, you know, uh, start a unique sets, but different variants of it. Of it. I'm totally cool with that, man. Yeah, it would actually give me a chance to get some of the items that I didn't grab back then, but... <sighs> Here's the catch. How much would it cost to bloom wise? I do and see. For Jukes Black Market itself, that it'll be a mixture of kind of doubloons and gold that can be spent on, on these cosmetics that are coming back. So for the variants of previously time-limited or kind of exclusive sets, uh, those will be with doubloons. Uh, the same with any brand new items that are coming in, they'll be purchasable, purchasable with doubloons. But variants of kind of outpost shop items, so shops, stuff that's already out there in the shops, but we want to do little spins on them, um, those will be coming in and you can get them with gold. So kind of a new way to spend gold with Duke. With the fact that you can now spend doubloons uh, on Duke. Okay. So with the blue, so it turns out with um, the time of the stuff, you'll have to spend the balloons, and with the stuff that's already available in shops, you'll have to spend spend gold. Oh, I think that's how like, they got it. Uh, again, I wish Laura was here here to you know help us help me explain. So yeah, but uh, hopefully for next week of Eva's Tavern, she'll be back. So yeah, but. Let's continue listening anyways. Black market. We're actually going to be removing the cost of the voyages that you can get from Duke. So right now you have to spend doubloons to go and get them, but we're going to be removing that cost so you can kind of go and acquire them without uh, spending doubloons. With the recent introduction of the re... Oh! Okay, so they're going to remove the cost or remove the voyages? Hmm. I think they said remove the cost. I'm not sure. Why we'll do I see what's this next update? chest which can be used to earn doubloons um, and obviously the monthly voyages that you can go on uh, with Duke will also still uh, have the opportunity to earn doubloons. It means there's quite a lot of ways to earn doubloons in the world uh, and I really think that the next video Captain Falco does is just going to be me saying doubloons by the way as a result of this. So we're looking at kind of the balancing across the game in terms of what you can spend doubloons on uh, and one of the decisions that we're making here is that for the letters of recommendation that currently you can purchase across um, the different trading companies to progress within them we're actually going to limit the amount that you can get each month. So from September's update onwards, uh, you'll only be able to purchase one uh, letter with each trading company in that month. Uh, so we're kind of limiting the amount that you can use doubloons to progress, purely because there's going to be a lot more doubloons in the world. Um, but we believe that via the introduction of the black market and the really cool cosmetics that are going to be coming with, in with this, we really believe that this is just an improvement all up um, for, for, for our approach to the kind of time-limited stuff uh, on a monthly basis. and um, uh, you know, the voyages you're doing, the Reaper's Chest that's come in. So we think this is, you know, an overall a really good step forward for the game, but we wanted to let everybody know in advance. So I think that's it for me from this week. Uh, as always, look forward to the feedback and comments, uh, and I will be back next week. So until then, I'll see you on the seas. Cool. Um, doubloons, doubloons, doubloons. <laughs> Anyways, wait, so yeah, that's an interesting update. So, but as a recommendation, looks like we'll only be able to get one, one for each trading company per month. That's an interesting approach. Again, I really wish Laura was here, but again, she's away, way doing stuff for college, so what can I do? Uh, but yeah, that was an interesting episode.
episode of um, the CFE's developer update. Um, now, Laura did tell, say something about me checking out the stream, stream uh, the previous stream, but don't want to make the make this drag on too long, long because I don't have it with me, which means no community update too. So sorry, guys. Very short of Eva Stavin today, but it uh, an interesting in one nonetheless. So it sounds like I was like like something something with Duke is happening happening as predicted. Mm, but uh, it sounds like there's going to be some positive positives and slight negatives, uh, depending on what happens happens with this. Again, I'm looking forward to those various of those time little objects that we didn't see. They might not be the originals, but hey, hey, uh, I'm willing to deal with it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Alright, guys. That's all for now. Uh, see you on the scenes, and this is yours truly, Music Clues, signing out for now. Cheers!